Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do the inside covers, I think. I have already prepped, I've already uh, traced them and prepped them to a, to, a, to a certain point. So I think we're going to do the inside covers and maybe some tags today. So this album is called the Homemade Slimline Scrapbook Album and that's the paper collection we're using is the Mente Homemade Paper Collection. And we are using the Basically Amazing Foundations, and I'm using the Mini Check. And there's a playlist for this album, and it starts with an introduction to the templates, and it works its way through the uh, every step of this album, and I will link that up there and down below in the Show More section that's down there. So we're nearing the end here, and I'm not sure... Um, I'm not going to add any more to the pages. So we're not going to do anything. Neither one of these have anything on the back side of the fin, so just attached to the front side. But that's a lot. That's pretty thick. You know, that's a lot stuffed in there, um, and there's no pictures yet. So I think we're just going to do the front and back covers and maybe some inserts in this video. So what I've prepped, so this is the D-sized album, and these templates are available in my Etsy shop, by the way, also linked down below. So I needed the mats for the covers for the D-size album, which is on page 52D in the foundations. So what I did is I took the traceable mat for the cover, the D-size cover, which is 52D, and I traced it out twice, actually on the same paper. So it actually went like this, I believe. So I traced out the exact, you know, the same on the same paper, the, both the front and the back cover. So this one's gonna be the front, and then this one's gonna be the back. So this piece here is a page 10D, which was left over from a previous page. So I printed that out, this whole page out, and then we used part of it, and then we're gonna be using this other part today as a pocket. So I kind of left it open so you could see. So I've taped everything, inked everything. I put tape on the back of these, tape on the back of that. But I left this open because I wanted you to see that if you didn't want to overlap your bottom corners and you still you wanted you didn't want your inserts to get stuck onto this lip here, you could attach this one down first and then just put a piece of tape. I ran a piece of tape across that hoe edge there so that the insert won't get stuck on there, any inserts, whatever inserts we put. So I just wanted to show you that. Let's go ahead and close it up. I just wrote on here leftover piece from a previous video just so I wouldn't forget to say it to you guys. So there's those two pieces ready to go. Again, they're already inked up. I'm going to put the front one on. I'm going to go ahead and add that one. I just put some quarter of an inch tape whoops, uh, all the way around. This one is not going to have a pocket or anything. I think I'm just going to do photo mats because sometimes you just need more space to add little photos. And this one is going to go here. Just like that. So out of the basically amazing add-on photo mats, we had printed off a bunch of the 3x4, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me grab it really quick. These are the add-on photo mats, and on page 13D, we had printed off a bunch of these in the prep video. So I had some, this is just on, this is on, what is this, this is like 24, 28 pound paper. This might be 24 pound paper. I don't know. So I took it and I cut the black border off and I stamped them all with three before. So I think I'm just simply going to add these on here like this. What do you guys think? I may want to mark them with a the ruler so that they're at least in a straight line. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna lightly draw a line that I can erase. Yesterday. I'll have to show you guys soon in another video. All right. All right. Now I'm just going to take some liquid glue. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac so it won't show through the paper. And because this is thinner paper, I'm just going to take a little thin. You could use tape runner tape if you would prefer. So I'm just going to lay it on here, match this up here. And then I'm going to do the bottom one next, and then we'll center this middle one. So sometimes when you've got a lot going on, in your albums, like a lot of interactive elements, sometimes it's nice just to have a place for your eyes to rest and a place just to add photos where you don't have to do anything to see those photos. You know, where they're just there. So the photo is the uh, story, you know what I mean? The photo is the important part. Oops, I better scoot these down a little bit. Uh-oh. Well, I guess I'll just scoot this one down and center those. You know, you want your photos to be the star of the show. So I think it's good to mix a little bit of intricate page design and a little bit of simple, simplistic beauty kind of thing where everything doesn't have to be so um, interactive you know everything doesn't have to be hidden or under a flap or um, what am I trying to say <laughs> use my glue eraser and get some of that glue off. a lot of times I'll just use my finger but the glue eraser actually works better And then I'm gonna come back and erase those, that pencil line. That way, they everything stayed nice and straight. I just didn't do a very good job with spacing on the top and bottom, but that's okay. But anyway, so I like that. I think that looks really nice. So then, let's add this back cover. We may come back and embellish this a little bit further. But for right now, we're just going to leave it. But I'm going to attach this back matte piece on the cover here. And if I would have thought about it, I, the pocket was an afterthought. I actually forgot I had this piece. I, I wouldn't have made this whole thing, this pattern paper. But that's okay. I'd already cut it. I didn't want to waste it. So I just went ahead and went with it. I probably would have used a printable something or another because you can only see just a little bit. So it just seemed kind of wasteful, but again, after the fact. And I know I'm not the only one that does that, so. Okay, so the next thing I have prepped is the mat for this and a few other things. So I've got some photo mats ready, but I've traced the mat for page 10D, which is on page, what page, did I even write it down? Let me look. 52, maybe? That's not the right page. 57D. So this mat is on page 57D in the foundations, and I traced it out from this paper here. What's this from? Oh, that's from the, the cover mat, this piece here. Leftover pieces from the cover mat. Um, but anyway, so I have this left over, and there's the other side of that. So I just was, let's see, I'm probably going to end up making 
uh, some tags or something out of that. And then I made, this was also another piece that we had left over from printing. This is the, um, the I think it's the envelope, part one of the envelope for the Seesaw's album. It's where we make the four by six photo flip. So I just put, I put four in here, I think. Or did I just do three? Oh, I just did three. No, wait a minute, there's four. One, two, three. Four. So I put four photo mat flips in here, and that's I, that's as far as I went. And I'll have to come back and decorate that. So I thought that would be cute for in there, and we had that left over, so I just went ahead and added it. All right, I am going to use my fabric tack again and attach this down. This happen up and down, not really. So I'm just going to attach this here, and then I've got the four by six photo mat and the three by four photo mat that I fussy cut the black off. And again, it's just a place for your eye to land and to showcase your photo. So I think I'm just going to glue those down. Okay, I think I am gonna add this little bit, this little cluster here. So this is one of the labels from my rectangle labels. Um, I had printed off some of these. I'm not sure if I printed off of these or not, for this project or not. But anyway, I literally just printed them onto the 28 pound paper and this is the rectangle labels. And I'm using like the medium one, you know, not the largest because the largest is too big. Like this is the largest. So I'm just using like the, a medium size. If you don't have the rectangle labels, I also have them, these type of labels in the add-on uh, scrap journal for the Basically Amazing. So I've got the label, and then I fussy cut these two pieces from the back of the Mente cover sheet, right? So this is one of the butterflies, and this is like a, a bunch of, um, like a bundle of wheat or something. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. So it was over here. So I fussy cut that out and then this was here. So I need to take a minute so that I can finish embellishing this whole album, just fussy cut everything out and that way I can go through and add some things. So here's my thought. I would have the label in between here, kind of like that, and then have this piece attached to the label and maybe to the side here. I don't know, I haven't decided. And then the, um, the umbrella. The umbrella can go right there. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. The butterfly umbrella. I don't. I don't even know where that came from. Okay, so let's do this. Actually, let's do this. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in between here. Yeah, that's super cute, right? Simple, easy, just enough. Okay, I think for now, I'm gonna use some of these smaller uh, rectangle labels. My camera will take a second, there we go. <laughs> I cut a couple of them out, and I think I'm gonna use them just in between the pictures here so that a date can be written there, or the name of a person, or something. Uh, and I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna use any sort of, I don't know, I say that, hang on. Oh, please, let's see, where's some of that? I could maybe try to decorate it a little bit with some of this free trim, this free eyelet trim that I have. This is available in the Buy Me A Coffee, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. There's a link down below. You just hit that link and then you go to the Buy Me A Coffee and it's my page. And then you hit, I think it'll take you to the main page and then you have to hit extras and it's in there. So you just claim it. Um, but I was thinking about what if maybe that, maybe that. 
just to give it a little extra something. Let's fold this in half and cut it. And that way we might have a little bit more interest than just And then if we wanted to later on, we could come back maybe and add a butterfly or something. That might be cute. Or we can just leave it like that. It's just a little something, a little something, something. Okay, I almost forgot about those. All right, so now I was wanting to look at making a few inserts for these pockets here. So this is the full page 12 by 12. You know the video where you don't want to cut up your full images so we use them as a tuck spot we fussy cut and use it as tuck spots so I think I want to make a taller insert for each one so let me show you what I'm thinking I'm gonna leave that open so that the glue can dry on page 44 D a lot of times we don't think about using some of these elements that are intended for something else like this is the D envelope part 2 um, we don't think about using them differently. So if you take just the uh, template part, if you uh, print 44D out of your guidebook and you just cut out this part here and use that as a template, this is a, a perfect size tag. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not sure if we're going to mat anything, so I'm just going to leave that there. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to use this piece of the pattern paper. That's what it looks like on one side. We use this also in the full size. Um, on the back side of that accordion page, we use this too as well. But I'm going to use the back side here. So I'm going to trace three out. Okay, is this how it went together? Not that it matters. It may not matter. Let's look and see. So my idea is to have one here. Whoops. Oh, that's not going to work. It's too big. Because this is glued down so much right here. Oh, interesting. Well, we'll have to use it in a different spot then. So in that case, maybe we'll do it like this. See, I feel like it's just too much. What do you guys think? And I also am a little perturbed at myself for this, but we could do... Let's see. We could use some of this paper on the three by four card so it kind of still has that You know, it still has like the feel, sort of. Let's see. Or we can use a journal, an actual journaling card down here. like it needs to be the same pattern. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to 
cut a part of this off <laughs> to three by four. Let's, let's see, so let's cut this part to four. Oh, save the butterfly. And, well, I guess it matters. And then this part to three. And get my broken um, corner chomper. Okay, now I'm just going to try really hard to do this without that other guard. Do a very good job. Check on it. Hmm. Well, we might just have to go with it, you guys. I mean, it's not even, I didn't even cut it straight. Nope. I sure didn't. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we could. I'm still going to use it, though. So we could do something like this. Okay, but I think, I think I'm going to cover the back up. Well, I don't know. That'd be all right. I was going to maybe cover the back up for journaling, but a photo could go back there as well. So, let's see. Let me stamp these two real quick. Three by four. It's just so aggravated me. I can't even tell you. That's what happens when you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Okay. We're using it anyway. We're just going to go with it. I could try to really quick get some of these so they're not so stark white. Since I cut my paper crooked. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm going to cut these at an angle. Same corner jumper that I've got broken here. Okay, I know it looks like a hot mess, but I think I have some ideas of what I want to do. I did grab another 3x4 card, 3x4 photo mat. I grabbed some of my uh, rectangle labels. I've got some skinny, or skinny ones. I've got some little ones, and I've got the medium ones. I've got another one of those trim pieces. This was actually cut off from something, and it's actually, it could be almost the most perfect um, size. So... 
I think about doing that for that one. We'll see on that. And then this one, I might just leave kind of simple. So I think I'm just going to take a whole reinforcement. Oops. Down the middle. Well, you guys know how good I am at that. I guess I could just measure it like most people. Good enough, maybe. So here's the thing I think what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave the back sides as they are right now because I'm not sure I'm going to leave them that way. I mean, that one's okay, but the back side of the other one isn't, isn't so great. Oh, and I can tell that's not even center. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this and put a little bit of the of the seam binding that we custom colored for this album. There's a video for that in the playlist if you want to check it out. And I was thinking about stapling it so it would be a little bit flatter. And that's probably way too much seam binding. So I'm going to do one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops. How do you open this sucker? I know there's a way. Is it right here? No. Ah, there we go. Oh, there's still some in there. Oh, it was just jammed. Try it again. It probably just doesn't like. There we go. I'm probably going to have to cut that shorter. Oh, but then I also wanted to add this 3x4 photo right here. And I may put a label down here just like on this one. But we'll see for now. So for this one, I think I want to add this to the top, like so. And then cut it even. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Let's just do it. I'm holding it up to the light so that I can see. Because I, I want to be able to cut it off straight and not see any of the... Um, white cardstock. Oh, I have to clean it up. So this is what I mean about the back side. There's nothing real exciting about this one. Um, So I thought that, oh, I need to put a whole reinforcement on this one as well. And again, I'm going to leave the back side as is for now, just in case I want to come back and put something on there. Oh, and then, oh, I could have done that one a little different. That's okay. And I was going to have a label, right, like that. And then over here, I was going to put one on here, and then I was going to make this one into like something like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Actually, I think I will put just a little, just so if you, in case you wanted to put an actual photo under here, I'm just going to glue right here. I'm 
going to put that in the center. So these are just two of the small ones. I'll just go barely on there like that. And put this one on the back side. through but on this one I am going to put a faux reinforcement on the back side let me take some of this off so I don't need that much maybe I could use it well it's still too short let's just go ahead and trim them all then Boop. It's okay. We got plenty. So then that can go there, and then that can go there. All right, I'm going to cut another one of these. So I think I'll just glue these down. So yeah, that looks really neat. I think it does. I like that. Okay, I think that's all we're going to do in this video. I think what I'm going to do off camera before the next video, which the next video will probably be the last video, I'm going to go through and I'm going to fussy cut all of these elements out so that way we can go through and add bits and pieces here and there where we need something. And we can also add some more tags and inserts and things like we didn't do anything to some of these areas, you know, so we can go through and do all of that little, little stuff. And we need to finish this little insert back here. So I think that's what we'll do. I think I'll fussy cut all of these pieces out and we will go from there. Oh, we also need to do an insert for our back cover here. I haven't quite decided yet even even still I haven't decided what I want to put back here so, yeah because the like this piece here there's one in the front cover pocket but it's just too big I think it's too big well obviously it is too big it won't even fit in there but the four by six photos would so I don't know I haven't decided on that so if you guys want to leave me some ideas down in the in the comment section uh, feel free to do that so all right so that's I think all I'm gonna do today and I'm sorry, I still feel, I'm feeling not feeling very good. <laughs> I'm still feeling not feeling. So that's where the low energy is coming from. And I do apologize, you guys. I'm just wore out. I don't think I recovered as quickly as I thought I did. So, but anyway. So, all right, you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Give me some ideas for the pockets. And I'm going to do some homework if you guys want to do some too. And be sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss um, 
any of my uploads. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.